Hi everybody, Niklas Eitoff here. Today I will describe and demonstrate the new IBM Social Business Toolkit. The new toolkit targets the broader range of developers, especially web developers and Java developers. It simplifies access to IBM Connections, IBM Smart Cloud for social business and other REST-based services. For example, it handles the authentication via OAuth. The toolkit provides new APIs and services that allow a consistent extensibility independent of product, delivery model and client type. The new IBM Social Business Toolkit has several components. The first one is the SDK that can be installed and run on Java-based application servers. As of today, the SDK is available as open source on OpenNTF.org and in the OpenNTF space on GitHub. There is also a new community on DeveloperWorks and we ask developers to use Stack Overflow for questions and answers. At some later point of time, we would like to make another a new quick start image available for developers that will come with Connections 4, Domino, same time, etc. pre-installed and pre-configured. Another component is the Playground, which allows developers to write code using a web browser and that code can then be run against different environments. Our plan is to make this playground available on IBM Greenhouse so that it can be used without having to install anything. Here is a quick demo of the playground. The playground allows web developers to write easily snippets of code and test them against different environments. In the left column there is a list of available code snippets, for example snippets that go against IBM Connections and snippets that access the IBM Smart Cloud for social business. So from here I can pick one of the available snippets, let's say my status updates. Once I select a snippet here, the actual code shows up here in the under the JavaScript, JavaScript tab and the code is also directly executed and this is the result right here. So these three entries have actually been read here from my um, local connections instance. Now what you can see here is the usage of the new JavaScript API. There are services like the activity stream service and um, value objects like activity stream entry that can be read easily here and then there's um, ways to access the information in these um, activity entries. Another example here is um, a snippet to access the smart cloud. So let's say I say uh, get address and once I do this the first time the user has actually to authenticate once so I type in here my credentials and say um, save and then I get this typical OAuth dialog which asks me whether I want to grant um, the application the playground application access to my data I say grant access and since I've done this once now, I don't have to do it for these other snippets again because obviously these credentials are stored in the web security store. In the combo box right here, I can change the environment that I want to um, work my code against. For example, I can choose IBM Greenhouse, my local quick start image, or I can even customize my own environment here and point to my own connection server. And another feature is the ability to um, actually change these code snippets and then save them and make them persistent here in that same playground application. In addition to the playground, you can also run the samples that come with the SDK from within your Eclipse IDE. So here I've installed or imported all the core SDK plugins as well as the sample plugins and I'm using Tomcat to actually run them. There is a web application called SBT Samples that comes comes with both the JavaScript samples and Java samples. These are the JavaScript samples. In the left column, there is this list of available snippets again. From here, I can pick, let's say, the same one as previously, my status updates. I see the result showing up right here, and I can also open the code snippet. And again, this is the one that I demonstrated previously. Very similar for Java snippets, I also have the list of available snippets here. For example, one um, updates from my network, which is again directly executed against IBM connections and I can see the source code, in this case of the JSP, right um, um, within the um, sample application here. 
For example, you need to import um, a Java package or Java class activity stream service. And then there are methods like get updates from my network. All these snippets, both Java and JavaScript snippets that you see in these um, in this web application, you can also see directly here from in your IDE. Um, for example, in this web project, sample.web, there's a list of all these um, Java snippets. This is the one that I just demonstrated, updates from my network. And you can also find right here the JavaScript snippets. And again, this is the one that I demonstrated earlier. In addition to the code snippets, there's also a sample application that comes with the SDK. The application allows users to book or reserve flights and then their managers get notified so that they can approve or deny these flight requests. This is the um, sample application. Here is a list of available flights. I can click on this button uh, and then I can log in um, to IBM Connections and then I need to grant access again which is this OAuth dance. Then I get redirected back and I see this notification that the flight has been booked or reserved. When I now log in um, to IBM Connections here as um, Lucille, and Lucille is the manager of Frank Adams. Here is Frank Adams and here you can see that Lucille is um, his manager. Then when I go to the home page, I see that there is a new action required which is an entry that has just been generated by the um, ECMI Airlines booking application. I can open this entry here and directly from within my activity stream I can now approve and deny. And in addition to that there's also a new mail right here and again it brings up an open social gadget right within this context. There are a couple of different resources available that you should be aware of if you want to get started with the IBM Social Business Toolkit. First of all, there is a community on DeveloperWorks that you can reach via bit.ly IBM SBT community. It's essentially a landing page with links to other resources. For example, here there are links um, under the SDK tab, there are links to the OpenNTF project and the GitHub project. They are empty right now, but once this video will be available, they um, will contain the SDK, the open source version of the SDK. Then the documentation will be put into the application development wiki. Um, right now, again, it doesn't contain the SDK documentation yet, but when this video will be published, there will be new links for IBM Social Business Toolkit SDK, as well as IBM Social Business App Dev Workshop Labs and then you can open this documentation and find um, details about installation, how to, to use the SDK, the APIs, etc. And when you download the SDK, um, it also comes with the Java documentation for all of these available packages and Java classes, as well as documentation for the JavaScript APIs. If you have concrete questions, we ask developers to use Stack Overflow and specifically we ask them to use the tag IBM SPT so that we can show and display the latest um, SPT related questions here in the widget in the community. If you want to discuss certain topics you can use here the message board um, that comes with the community. And last but not least there's also a Twitter account IBM SPT so if you want to stay up to date and want to get notified about news please start to follow this Twitter account. So this was a quick overview of the new IBM Social Business Toolkit. We, the Social Business Toolkit development team, are really looking forward to receiving your feedback. So please use the typical social channels, OpenNTF, Twitter, the community, GitHub, etc. and let us know what you think. Thanks a lot for your attention.